up guys time to show off a new build um, I wanted to do something a little bit different one to do something um, I don't I don't know if pretty is the word the correct word but I feel like that is so I took one of the uh, NH70 like rim style dials that uh, they're made kind of more along the lines for a an NH movement where you can see through kind of like a decorated movement but with all that open space I backside loom them and uh, what that ends up doing is making a uh, very awesome watch so this is a uh, I don't remember how I label these I don't know because like I call them the NH70 rim dial um, So they're, they're set up to where you can see the movement, but obviously you don't see the movement with mine. I don't have a pretty movement uh, specifically in my, in my watches. So um, backside lumen, throw it on my uh, automatic mechanical in there. And then with this, I did some, uh, some white hands. Now it is a white dial, but this is a different tone white. And I just thought that was kind of cool. So you can still see them easily. And then at night, um, you can tell where they are because your loom is over top of those that loom. I, sometimes it's good to do like more of a solid hand when you have a loomed background, but I don't always do that. Um, so what I did with this was just a super clean watch. So we have a 100 case, which is basically like the 350 that I normally do. I'm gonna grab a uh, cloth because. That's the uh, first situation that I see is these fingerprint real easily. And I'll get out the Cape Cod uh, reference here for you too because whoever gets this is going to get the last one of these that I have. Um, so this is a polished case. This is a 100 case. 100 is basically just like the 350 that I do, but this is a polish. So with the polish cases, it doesn't take much for you to get eh, little tiny like lines in them and things like that, even from factory. So the nice thing is was with the Cape Cod cloth, which that's mine, but you would get this one inside here. You just want to cut off a little tiny square. Don't, uh, and then keep them, keep it sealed so that it doesn't dry out. Um, put it in a baggie or something like that if you open it up, but just cut out a little section. And all you're going to do is you just rub literally back and forth and you will take out whatever is there. Sometimes it takes a full minute. But um, just sit there and use that square and go back and forth. You'll notice it kind of looks like it's dirty on the other end. I don't know what that comes from. Um, and you can use both sides of it. So um, you've got a Cape Cod cloth with it. But this is a polished case. <clears throat> I used to have a word for what this bezel was. I know it's like a fluted bezel. I think it's like a Rolex style fluted bezel. Um, I grabbed one that happened to have a little white. Uh, marker there. Obviously you can put it wherever you want, but sitting it at 12 is obviously going to be normal, but it is a bezel that will turn left, it'll turn right. Uh, it is a little tougher to grab on this bezel the way it's designed, so you won't accidentally move that bezel. It's going to go where, it's going to sit where you're going to put it. Um, but it will be real easy for you to fingerprint these. So, um, just a clean, clean crown, milled solid case back, you have a shark mesh hybrid which has brushed on the outside and polished chain link in the middle. Your standard brushed uh, clasp, the little BVW at the bottom. And that's it. That's the clean, clean build. Um, the white hands are like a Mariner style set with a long loom second hand. Um, automatic mechanical, you've got a rotor in the back here. Um, so as you move around, it will keep your time throughout the day. Um, as I showed you, your bezel will turn left, it'll turn right. It is a uh, bi-directional, non-click style bezel. And 31-hour um, power reserve. So what you want to do is, before you put it on, you want to wind it just a little bit, back the crown off the threads. Until you hear it and feel it clicking, and you know you're off the threads, you feel a little bit of play. And you can wind. And a wind is a turn away from you. Turning it towards you won't wind it, but it is a lot easier to keep your fingers spacing and just go back and forth. 
you do that for four or five seconds before you put it on, that mix with your rotor movement will keep your time throughout the day. But if you know you're not going to be active at all, sitting at a desk, driving, etc., just go ahead and do it for a little longer. Max out your 31 hour power reserve on it. You cannot overwind, so don't worry about that. So when you're good, you're going to pull it to the one and only click. You can now set your time. It does not have a hacking movement, so it's going to keep going. And you also notice you've got a wobble crown. This deflects lateral pressure from going into the stem and into the movement, so when you're pushing and prying on it, you're not putting any adverse pressures on or anything. Okay, Google, what time is it? Probably 1. It's 1.02 p.m. PM. Technically, that's 1.02, right? Because the other marker will be about there. So when you're good, you're going to push it over, get it out of that time setting, and then wind it down. And that is your super clean build. As you saw, it was loomed. You're going to get matching beads. These beads also loom as well. You can kind of see which ones do that. They are a matching loom bead. You're going to get a BBW special edition box. And this is going to come with a nice little watch fabric pillow. You see you're going to get the last Cape Cod cloth. It's going to come in this. Directions for use on outer tin. You're not going to get the outer tin. I keep these tins. Um, if you don't know how to use them, just do a simple Google search. It's not any harder than what I've explained to you or what you could probably figure out without doing a Google search. Um, this will come with watch cleaner. This is good on all glass and metal parts. So this watch as a whole, this will take care of it. Non-streaking, non-toxic, non-residue, as well as a microfiber. Which I might actually give you a second microfiber. Uh, one to use whenever you're wanting to clean. And one when you're wanting to like uh, just keep your watch polished uh, when you're done. So you have a Cape Cod cloth. I'll probably throw in a second one of these. And then also you're going to get some fine scratch remover. This is Novus 2 from Amazon. Just repackaged. It's for your acrylic glass because you can scratch that. If you do, you'll put a tiny bit of this on it and you'll buff it out using your color matching uh, microfiber. So scratches up and down. Just go left and right. Filling that scratch. Haze it. Buff it out. And that is that. If that this watch is going to you, congrats. I hope you love it. I think it came out freaking awesome. Uh, very classy look. Um, and not that there was anything wrong with going brushed, but I had a lot of brushed going uh, this week. So I thought, hey, I've got a polished case. I've got a quote-unquote classier band that has polish in it. And I typically don't use these unless I'm doing a Cerakote build. Um because it's polished and I'm not doing anything polished, so I need to use a band, or something that's classy and polished. So uh, I've had them sitting there for a minute, so um, if it's going to you, like I said, congrats. I hope you love it, and this was the last fluid of bezel I have. Not that I can't get more, um, but I've been sitting on it for a minute, and it just aligned perfectly. So if it's going to you, congrats. I hope you love the watch, and if you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out, and I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.